we gotta stop idolizing these other nations. That's right. That's when we start falling off, bro. We start looking at what these other people are doing and want to be like them. That's right. When God said He severed you, give me Deuteronomy seven and six. He said He severed you from all other people. Right. He separated you from these other nations. That's the so-called right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You cannot be like these other people. That's right. So y'all know y'all is here, right? You know this is really grand over ten foot. Say it again. I said, well, now I do. Now you do, right? That's right, all praise. You're right, it's chapter 10, verse 12. Now that you know that you're Israel, there's certain things that are required of the Israelites, the so called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. There are things that are required. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thou God require of thee? So God is requiring something from you, Rick. But to fear the Lord thou God. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in his ways, read. And to love him. How do we love God? How do we love God? By his commandments. By being his commandments, right? You only got to go back to his He by being his commandments, right? Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To what? To keep. The commandment. One more time. To keep the commandment. God That's is right. saying that you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans right. who make up the twelve tribes of Israel, you have to keep That's the right. commandment. Right. That's I'm right. Give you a Twenty-one to five. Leviticus chapter twenty-one and verse five. You said to love God is to do what? Read what you got. Leviticus chapter twenty-one verse five. Read. Right. They shall not make baldness upon their head. That That's about? right. What is that talking about? You know what I mean? What is that talking about? Baldness upon their head, no bald head like Michael Jordan. Right, not just any haircuts, because you can get haircuts. Right. But you don't want to what? Complete. They shall not make baldness upon their head. You don't want to bald your head. Like you said, like the Michael Jordan. That's right. All them type people like that. You That's don't want right. to do that. God said, don't do that. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. What is that talking about? We're talking about the sideburn. The sideburn or just the beard. Right, why? Why? What's the, what's the difference from women and men? Women. Or kids and men? Women. That's right. They grow the facial hair. Right. That's right. God said a certain thing about men having their beard, especially Israelite men. Children can't grow facial hair until they get beard. Listen to this. This is the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary definition of beard. That's right. Bring beard, it out. A badge of manly dignity. Is a what? A badge of manly dignity. So having a beard is a badge of manly dignity. That's what. That's, yeah, go ahead, read. The Israelites were forbidden. The who? The Israelites. You so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans That's who make right. up the children of Israel. That's you were right. what? The Israelites were forbidden. They were forbidden to do what? To shave off the corners of their beard. To shave off the corners of your beard. Bro. So wanna go back to Leviticus 21 to 5. One of the laws right. was for men, the Israelite men, is to keep their beard. That's right. You can trim it up, you can shave it down a little bit, but you don't want to mar the corners. You don't want to cut into it. How your natural how your beard grows naturally, that's what you want to keep. That's what you want to line up. You don't right. want to cut into it. That's right. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Right. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So we shouldn't shave our head, bald. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. And whatever you grow on your face, you grow it. Read. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. That's going into tattoos. I see you got tattoos. Tattoos. It's going to jump to uh, 19 and 27. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27. This is a precept. Read. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Right. Neither shall thou make. Neither shall thou mar the corners of their beard. It's saying the same thing. Read. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. For the dead. You know, a lot of times what our people do when somebody dies, what do they do? Even with Christ, when they want to resent, when they want to represent Christ, what do they go do? And they, they imprint it on their arms, right? In remembrance of Christ. When our kids die, sometimes we go and get ink 
pictures of our kids. They're not dead. Oh, right, they're not dead, but that's one of the laws that God said we should not that's do. That's right. We shouldn't be marking up our bodies. Why? That's because right. you are the temple of God. That's right. right. You know, putting that ink in your body, you poisoning yourself. Right. You understand? First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So God said, know you that you are the temple of God. You, got, you must know that. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. God is dwelling in you. When you start to keep these laws, statutes, that's you know, right. God is dwelling in you. That's Read. right. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. So will you defile, take cigarettes for example. When you smoke cigarettes, right? What is going into your body? Poison, right? That's you got tar, right. you got bleach. You got all types of, of nicotine. You got all types of stuff that destroy you. That's right. right. God said don't do that thing. Fiberglass. It's all types of stuff. Rat poison. That's right. You're killing yourself. That's how you're going to, when he said that he's going to destroy you by doing these things, it's meaning that you're going to catch diseases. That's you're right. You're going to catch lung cancer. You're going to catch cancer. Why? Because you're defiling the body of God. That's right. Bring it out. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? That was it. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. Because we have a job to do out here. Our job is to wake up Second. the children of 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. It's to wake up the children of Israel. How That's right. <laughs> How are we going to do that? Teach. Teach. Tell them what? The ways of the ways. The ways of God. The ways of God, right? But something happened to our people. We learned some things, right? We were brainwashed. That's right. We were commanded to do something. Read. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Bring it out. For thou, for though we walk in the flesh. So we walk in this flesh, right? Walk in this fleshly body, read. We do not war after the flesh. But we don't war after the flesh, read. For the weapons of warfare are not carnal. We come out here to battle, but the weapons that we're battling with is not guns. That's it's right. It's not sword. That's, That's right. right. Read. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Pulling down of what? Pulling down of strongholds. So what we, what the weapon we do use to pull down these strongholds is the Bible. The Bible. That's what's going to clean up our, our people's minds. That's right. From these dark imaginations or these false doctrines. Right. Like the color of Christ. That's right. That's a false doctrine. They show you that he's a white man. That's but right. God says, no, my son is black. Right. My son is black. Did you know that? It's, it's, it's been a problem here and there about it. Is that here? It's been a problem here and there, but I hear this and hear that. Really never could really go uh, against who said this or who said that. All right. So I'll just ask my father. We're going to let God be true, right? Every man alive. So those doctrines that these men are telling you they can't go by this or that. God already explained what his son looks like. Right? That's right. So we're yeah. going to give it to you out of the mouth of God. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The yeah. truth of Christ. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Being the revealing of Christ. That's we're going right. to reveal Christ to you this day. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto the servants things which must surely come to pass. Read. And he sent and sanctified it by his angels unto his servant John. So he's showing these things to John. John the Revelator. He's showing these things to John. Read That's right. Verse 2. Verse 2. Who bear record. What? Who bear record. So John now is bearing record. Meaning what? To write it down. He's writing it down. That's how you bear record. That's right. Of the word of God. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. So he's writing down what, of, of Christ, right? What Christ looked like. He said the revealing. And he's writing it down. What Christ looked like. Revelation chapter 1 verse 11. Uh -huh. yeah. Saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. So this is Christ speaking. He's saying he's the beginning and the end. Read. The first and the last. Read. And what thou said, write in a book. He's still talking to John. He said, hey John, what you see? Write in a book. That's Read. right. And send it unto the seven. Oh, what was that book? The Bible. Read. That's right. Read. And send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephraim, 
into Samaria and into. And to Sorry, that's just going into the different churches that they sent the letters out to. Revelation chapter 1, verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So now, John, hearing this voice, he turned to see who was speaking to him. Read. And, beget, and, and be, being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. The manure with the seven golden sticks. Now, you know, the Jewish people, they have the nine. But what did he just say? And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Seven golden candlesticks. So the menorah has seven sticks. So John is telling you what he saw. He saw somebody standing in the midst of these seven uh, candlesticks. And in the midst of these seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man. So meaning Christ. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And that, that destroyed the doctrine of saying, oh, Christ, nobody knows what Christ looked like, or maybe Christ didn't have a body. That's maybe right. just a spirit. What did it just say? He had what? A what? Down to the foot? And in the midst of these seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he wore a garment, right? And girth about the path with a golden girdle. Verse 14, his head and his hair were white like wool. So now, journeying and, now John turning and looking at this voice that spoke to him, he says now that he's standing and he's seen what? His head and his hair were white like wool. So he sees this man that has white, woolly hair. Woolly hair. Who has woolly hair today? Black people, right? Some of the Hispanics, some of the Native Indians, they have woolly hair too. Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning, because he drank wine, you have to go to it. Christ, what was Christ's first miracle? In the churches, they try to say it's, it's uh, sinful to drink, right? So why would Christ come on earth and turn water into wine? Would he cause people to sin? They say this man worked perfect. So what, what was that about? Why would they lie to you like that? That's another imagination we out here to cast down. That's Christ right. drank. But he did not get drunk. He drank right. in moderation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet like a jump. Verse 14. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire because he drank wine. Wait. And his feet like a divine brand. Now John is describing Christ's feet. Well, what he saw, his feet, right? He said it's unto fine brass. What color is brass? It's brown. Agreed. As if they burn in a furnace. So it's not just some original brown. It's this brown was a dark brown. Anytime you burn something in a furnace, it's going to come out what? Right. Black. Right. And his voice as the sound of many waters. That's meaning Christ spoke very loud. If you if you know the story when Christ was speaking to the five thousand people. He spoke out on the boat. He had to be speaking. He didn't have no loud speaker. So he had to speak very loud for everybody to hear him. Hey, bro. What's your nationality, bro? Do I have any questions? So you're a Baptist. That's not a nationality. That's a denomination. Come in. Come in. Look. Come on this side. Come on this side. You been drinking, bro? Yeah, I've been drinking. Okay, okay bro. Man. Hey. I'm a hey, bro. Listen I'm to this. Bring hey, out these I'm a realist. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bro, you say you love, you love God, right? And yeah. I love, oh, yeah. God, love God with all my heart, yeah. my soul, and my That's mind. That's your wife? And was, okay. You would say she loved God too, right? You say love, loving God is what? Huh? How do you love God? I love God. I love how God loves church. So I, what is that? What is that love? Can I send God a, a, a gift basket? No. I can't send him a gift basket. Right? Can I hug him? To show him that I love him? So how how do you love God? I love God by giving him praise and worship. You know, you know, you know, you know, As he goes to the school. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Listen to this. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. That we keep 
his commandments that, that we keep his commandments that's right keep his commandments right read on and his commandments are not grievous here's another commandment that we give to our people chapter 22 verse 5 read the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man read Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thou God. Read it from the man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So God is talking about the men, right? And apparel, right? He said a man shouldn't put on a woman's garment. What is that? Where you going? What is that? Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now God is speaking to the women. He said, This is a law. He said that the women should not wear that which pertaineth to men. So what do women wear today that pertains to men? Say it again, sir. That's right. Pins were given to the men. They try to say all this women. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's a problem with it. You know, the ladies don't pants or anything like that. You said you don't see no problem with it? No, I'm saying the way I grew up. All right, right, right. That's what we was all taught. That's what we was all taught, that it was, it was, you can dress any way you want. Yeah, it's on you. Yeah, it's on you. Right. And so you. Yeah, but God is saying that something different. Yeah, that's right. And there's another judgment coming. Right. Yeah, that's 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 right. That I will punish the prince. Right there. It's in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. What does that mean? In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Not the situation when Christ returns. Right. When he returns to judge the world. Read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. Read. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. So when Christ returns. He's even going to look at what the people are wearing. That's right. And if you are not dressed properly, he's going to kill you. That's right. Is that serious, bro? That's right. We were put here to do one. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Bring it up. The Israelite men, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. You were put here to do one thing. That's right. And that was to serve the Most High. That's Anything right. Anything outside of that, you're off. That's you're right. going off. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. To do what? Fear God and keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. So that's, the whole, that's our reason of being here. That's our whole reason of being here. We can't. We got to stop idolizing these other nations. That's right. That's when we start falling off, bro. We start looking at what these other people are doing and want to be like them. That's right. When God said He severed you, give me Deuteronomy seven and six. He said He severed you from all other people. That's right. He separated you from these other nations. That's the so-called right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You cannot be like these other people. That's right. God has a specific job for you. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Read. For thou art holy people. They are what? For thou art holy people. They are what? For thou art holy people. God said that the so-called Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, right. you are a separate, meaning that's the word holy. You hear me, bro? Listen. The word holy there means separate. You are separate people. Read. Unto the Lord thou God. Unto God. Read. The Lord thou God has chosen thee. God has chosen you. What's your name? Uh, Alex. Alex? Alex. 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 God has chosen you and you live. Read. To be a special people. To be what? A special people. To be a special people. You so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Not everybody on the face of the earth. You have to come out of these wicked philosophies, out of Christianity, out of being a Muslim, Islam. Those those things are not for you. Those are false doctrines. Above all people. He told them to be what? Above all people. He told you some called black and and Native Americans to be above what? All people. To be above all people. Read. That are 
come here, bro. It's good meeting you, man. Hey, I appreciate you. Get a flyer, get a flyer, man. Check out that website that's on the back. Call that number, bro. Earth, bro. So God has chosen you, some called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be special. God is the God of Israel and none else. Give me that. Hey, bro, you got a minute, bro? Learn about who you are, bro. Don't you know you're the greatest people on the face of the earth? Hey, sis, you got a question, sis? You got a question? What's your nationality, sis? Come here for me. Don't be scared, sis. We're not going to bite. We don't bite. Hey, bro, you got a minute? Listen, learn how about who you are, bro. Do you find, do you find yourself in this side? What is your father? Where your father come from? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? American black. Black man, right? Right. What if I told American. you that that was a Bible? That's not who you are. <laughs> that God said that you are a greater people wow. than just black. Yeah, because your pants are black. <laughs> That's just a color in the crayon. Like, bro. That book got for you. Huh? That book got for you. Brown. Yeah, you brown. You are brown. Bro. That's right. But you also God's chosen people. That's right. And there's things that you, yeah, there's things that you must do, bro. There's things that you must do that God requires of you. That's what I'm doing. What you doing? Surviving, bro. Surviving, you got to do more than that, bro. That's right. God asked for more than that. He asked for more than that, just that, for you to survive. Right. He, he's telling you there's no back in the world, bro. There's no limit. And you say it again? There's no limit to what? Right. So that's what we out here to do, to show our people what they must do to get out of this country. You're not in physical change no more, but mentally you are. In that's right. right. I asked you what was your nationality. You said black. That's not what God told you. That's not even the nationality. They sis. Don't go nowhere, sis. I'm not All right. That's not. Yeah, it's just a color of the pound, bro. So most people say African American. You can't be from two different continents. That's one. Right. And then you have to understand well, where the names come from. Is my forefather from? African Leo Scipio Africanus, or is he from America Vast Future who named this land America? Those are two white people. Two white people cannot come together and spawn a black child or have an offspring of a black child. That's right. So there's no possible way that you could be African American. Right. So who are you? Who are you? There was a prophecy given to Moses to give to the people. That's right. That's right. That they will forget who they are. They wouldn't know. And that's a prophecy, bro. That's a prophecy, bro. That we will forget. Who, man, hey, give me the curse. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. I remember, I asked him, what was your nationality? Why did you say black? Free. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Listen up, sis. A proverb and a byword. A proverb is a slick thing. A byword is being called outside of your God given name. That's right. God called the so-called American Blacks Judah. He called the West Indies Benjamin. He called the Haitians Levites. He called the Puerto Ricans Ephraim. But we don't know that today. That's we right. Love those names. That's God, right. Because it was taken from us. We forgot who we were. That's right. Three. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Listen to me. And thou, even thyself. So he's talking to Jeremiah. He said, hey, Jeremiah, even yourself. Read. Shall discontinue from thine heritage. Shall discontinue from their heritage. That's right. Who was discontinued from their heritage? The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. That's yes, right. We the ones walking around don't know where we're from, don't know who we belong to. We go and get into a, a whole bunch of idolatry, right. serving other gods that, that's not for us. That's right. Go back to 28. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Thou shalt come up. Thou shalt become an astonishment. So we can become an amazement. Read. A proverb. A proverb. That's the saying that all black people love chicken. All black people love watermelon. If you want to hide something from a Negro, you do what? Put it in a book. You put it in that's a book. That's right. We don't read. That's that proverb. That's that slick saying. That's right. And a byword. A byword. Being called outside your God your name. Read. Among all nations. So we will be known among all the nations by these companies. We are we call niggas here. We call niggas in, in China. We call niggas in Arab. It might be a different language. That's right. But they still yeah. calling us niggas. It's 
all the same thing. That proverb, that's going to stick. That's one of the curses that was going to stick to it. So, why? Why did this? Why did this come upon our people? Why did the curses come upon us? Because God said that we did something for this to happen. If we're God's chosen people, we had to do. Okay, let me give you an example. Right, your mom. Right, you have kids. Yeah, you have one child. You got, you got kids. You have no kids. You got no kids. We got seven. Yeah. Okay, so you got kids, right? Say, say you have a child. Your mom, your father, and your parents, right? That's right. If you give laws or certain rules or certain chores to your kids to do, right? And you and they don't do them. What are you going to do to them? Punish. You going to punish them? Right? That's right. Right. Yeah. It's the same thing that God did to us. Right. That's right. Because we didn't do something. And now he's the father of us. Not everybody. He's the father of us. That's right. So because of our wrongdoings, he did something. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is saying that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you wouldn't listen to me. If you don't listen to me, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do his commandments, read. And his statutes, read. Which I command thee this day. That what? That all these curses. All these curses, read. Shall come upon thee and overtake so thee. So my question would be, bro, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Curse is a bad thing. It's a bad thing. That's right. Bad, right? How can it be a good thing? Okay, I'm going to give you a good curse. Uh, well, I'm going to give you a good curse. Supposedly, right? Okay, say and I had uh, the curse of anything that I touch, it would turn gold. That's a good curse, right? No. Anything that I would touch. Not all, not, not all the time. Not it wouldn't be? Why? Everything. Why would it not be? That, that, that's the reason. You, 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 you ever heard the old, you ever heard the old, uh, the story back of the king, he was so greedy, but gold, you know what I'm saying? He forgot yeah. about everything he needed to eat. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to point out. Excuse me. But you would think on the on the person that's like, like they go. Like you got money, you can say they can go. But that curse is not always good. Yeah, so a curse is not it's a bad thing. So God said that if you want to listen to him, that you will be cursed, right? Give me one of those curses was you wouldn't know who you were. You will be known by that property, that Bible. It will be right. an astonishment to the people. That's Give me 46. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. The same, the same chapter. The same chapter. The same chapter. Get, matter of fact, I'm going to show you who you're talking about. Where did that nigga come from? The word where that came from? Where that came from? We're about to show you right now. We're about to show you right now. It's mentioned in the book. Acts chapter 13, verse 1. That's right. The, the word nigga, the right from the nigga. That came from the white man. It just means black. That's right. We've been called that way back. We're going to give it to you straight out of the Bible. Read. The book right. of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Read. Now therefore, when I thee, chosen people, Israel, 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 they were calling us that same word. You got the definition yes. on the read. It's not even Bible dictionary. Definition nigger. A surname or oh, oh black. Huh? Nigger black. That's what it means. Black. That's right. It's black. So that word is it's been upon our people way back. It goes way back. That's how they label it. That's how they label it. But one of those curses was we could be known by that. That's Let right. Me give you another curse. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Why? Because we didn't listen to God. That's right. right. And overtake thee. So they overtook us. We, we came here on what? On oh, ships, oh, right? Read. Did y'all know that was prophesied in the Bible? Read. We're going to get it. Till thou be destroyed. Till thou be what? And till thou be destroyed. Read. Because thou hearken is not. Hold up. Go back to it. Till thou be what? Till thou be destroyed. How did we know when we were destroyed? How can you tell it? Because we don't know who we are. 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 We don
That's right. That's right. Right. We will destroy when we think that Christ looks like this man right here. That's right. And we go to work. We will destroy this. A new. That's Greek. right. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thou God. Because we didn't listen to God, read. To keep his commandments. And to keep his commandments, read. And his statue which he commanded thee, read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. That they there means the, the curses. Those curses are going to be upon us for a sign. To show you something. What does a sign do? It shows you something, right? That's right. Like if I want to find McDonald's, I'll look for that golden sign. arches, right? Yeah. If I wanted to find Bank of America, I would look for the sign of Bank of America. That's right. right. So he said that these curses will be upon the Israelites for a sign to show you who the Israelites are That's today. Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org